Hello guys, welcome you all for this end to end session of AAML where you guys gonna learn everything that you need to become a successful data scientist. Hope you guys are enjoying the session. We are enjoying a lot guys. So like we are enjoying a lot. We are just learning every day. So hope the same for you guys. And uh, let me know guys, if you have any doubts, we are here to help you. Okay, feel free. Any doubts later to this data science, you just ping us. Okay, ping in the comment session. We will take up your doubt and we will solve the session, solve your doubts. Okay, so yeah. Uh, like we are very excited, right? Because like we have stepped into the new, uh, like I will say new path, new model that is like uh, for machine learning. Okay. We have looked into the first coding level, like uh, linear regression. We have seen the, uh, something by does a theoretical part and their coding part. Hope it is very enjoyable. So we will be following the same rules case. We will be going through the theoretical part and the coding session the next day. Okay. So hope you guys are enjoying. So as always guys, we are just mentioning, right? Whenever like you are coming to the session, make sure you guys have watched all the previous session videos so that you guys can be able to understand what we are telling. Okay, that's it, guys. So yeah, without wasting any time, we will jump into the, the, today's session. So today's session is like introduction to multilinear regression, multiple linear regression. Guys, I will just please you please make sure that you watch uh, the last three sessions. Okay, at least last three sessions because like the last three sessions will be uh, full of like I will say uh, it is like a um, linear regression and their coding part. So once you have understand those, so it will be easier for you to understand this multiple linear regression. Okay. So yeah, guys, like uh, I'm very, I'm very excited. Let's, let's just dive, dive, dive into this session. So yeah, today's introduction to multiple linear regression. That is what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn this multiple linear regression. So multiple linear regression is a statistical technique that helps use multiple independent variables to predict the dependent variables. It is a powerful tool for understanding the relationship between the variables and for making the predictions okay i will put it in the simple manner where in linear regression we will be having only one independent variable right but here we will be having multiple independent variable to predict the value of the dependent variable that's it we will be having only one x in the linear regression since it is multiple linear regression here we will be having more than one x that's it everything going to be same okay hope you guys have understand this yes sir, over to you Yes. So introduction to multiple linear regression means we've yesterday we have previously we have done uh, linear regression. We have learned about previously uh, about linear regression. So here we are learning the same thing, but it is multiple linear regression. So it is a statistical technique that uses multiple independent variable to predict on dependent variable okay so multiple independent variables are there on or to predict dependent variable it is a powerful tool for understanding relationship be relationship between uh, variables for making predictions so the basic logic remains same but what happens here is uh, it will be using multiple independent variables to predict a dependent variable. So that is the only difference uh, whether it is linear regression or it is multiple linear regression. The basic logic will remain same but here multiple independent variable will have to predict a dependent variable. Okay that is the only difference. So let's move to the other uh, section but guys go and watch all the sessions previously five to ten times do reinforcement learning absorb the information digest the information and apply okay that is very important and uh, go do all the assignments and write in the comment section what have you learned how you're going to apply this knowledge and what is your long-term objective function and subscribe to our channels also press the bell icon so that you will get notification for each session which is upload it uh, for you guys so keep learning deeply with consistency persistency and keep learning so that you will become best world's best data scientist ai ml engineer or deep learning engineer or ai researcher keep learning deeply guys thanks yeah sure sir yeah moving on guys Let, let's see what we are having next okay yeah assumption of multiple linear regression i i hope like if you guys have watched the previous session like on linear regression you guys know what is an assumption of linear regression linearity right that will be the same here okay let's see what what it is differ from 
So multiple linear regression relies, uh, relies on several assumptions, including linearity, dependency of uh, independency of errors, homogeneity, and normality of the residuals. It's important to check this assumption to ensure the validity of the model. Hope like guys, this everything we have seen for the linear regression, right? This everything we have seen. So since uh, we are just going to change the number of uh, independent variables, that's it guys. So everything going to be same. Linearity, that's the relationship between the independent and dependent variable must be linear. That's the first thing. Okay. Next, independence of error. Error in the model should be independent of each other. This also we have seen. And homocenticity, the variance of error should be constant across all the values of the independent variable. This also we have seen. Okay. Next, normality of residuals. Residuals, the difference between the predicted and actual values should be normally distributed. Yes. All these four assumptions applicable for linear regression and also multiple linear regression. Okay. So in order to apply for a data set, this multiple linear regression, it should follow all these four principles. I will say this is a principle rather than assumption it should be a principle. It should be linear, linear. It should be independent of their errors and the error should be normally distributed and it should be homogeneity. Okay. Hope like guys, you have understand this. That's the reason we are just asking you guys just watch the previous session video so that you can have a continuation of what we are telling okay so yeah that's that's all about this assumption of multiple linear regression yes sir, over to you yeah so assumption of multiple linear regression guys here what we'll do is uh, multiple linear regression realizes on several assumptions it includes linearity independence of errors Homogen, uh, homodensity and uh, normality of residuals. It, it is important to check these assumptions to ensure the validity of the model. So they are very crucial for validity of model. So linearity, it is the relationship between dependent and independent and dependent variable. Okay must be linear so there should be a linearity this sh it should be linear like independent and dependent variables must be linear that is first assumption then we have independence of error so errors in the model should be independent of each other they should not be dependent okay that is the another assumption independence of error okay homo uh, density we have a, a variance of error should be constant homogeneous you can say the, the homo word comes when it is constant uh, okay it is similar okay homo word so uh, across all values of independent variables that is what is homo density so then we have normality of residuals which is residuals the difference between predicted and the actual value should be normally distributed so normality should be there okay so it should be normally distributed on one scale okay so that that is what is called norm normality of uh, residuals okay so that is what it is. So let's move to the other section. Yeah, sure, sir. Yeah. So moving on, guys, let's see what we are having. Okay. Model equation and interpretation. Okay. So before going for multiple linear regression, I need you guys to just uh, write in the comment what is the equation for linear regression. Okay. I will give a minute of time. Please no, please make sure that you guys are right. Uh, linear regression equation is equal to. You guys just write it. Okay. I hope like it's simple. Okay an equation uh, so i hope like I i'm just you're gonna give a uh, like a uh, like explanatory equation okay so that you guys can write it down okay uh, the thing is um, like uh, independent variable equal to sorry dependent variable equal to and we will be having intercept plus independent variable into slope okay i hope like now you guys have uh, guessed it out y is equal to mx plus c guys okay it's a simple line equation that is for linear regression okay now let's see what is for multiple linear regression. I hope like now some of you guys have like assumed or like have an idea of what will be the equation. Okay. So model equation and interpretation for this multiple linear regression. 
Multiple linear regression equation is a mathematical formula that uses coefficients to qualify the relationship between the independent and the dependent variables. The coefficient represents the change in the depend in dependent variable for one unit change in the correspondence of independent variable. Okay. What is the equation? Y is equal to B0 plus B1X1 plus B2X2 plus B3X3 plus BNXM. It will be go keep on going. Okay. The thing is, I will put it in a simple manner. What is the equation for linear regression? Y is equal to MX plus C. That's it, right? Now, we will be having only 1x in linear regression. But for multiple linear regression, we will be having multiple x. Then how we can do that? What will be the formula? y is equal to m1x1 plus m2x2 plus m3x3 plus m4x4. Like that, we will keep on going. And finally, we will be adding the intercept plus c. That's it. Okay. That m1x1, m2x2 is right. That m we are saying, right? That is called as b here. Okay. You can see, right? b1 b2 b3 2 bn okay x1 x2 x3 that that's same for every everything okay this b not right that is c that will be c okay why is equal to mx plus c this is how we are mapping okay that x will be multiple here and uh whereas the m is denoted as b and the c is also denoted as b c is the b not that's it okay no no right no rocket sense it's simple simple equation okay interpretation each coefficient b1 b2 like dot dot to bn that is slopes represent the change in the dependent variable y for a one unit change in the corresponding independent variables x1 x2 x3 dot dot to xn that's it okay now let us see the example y is equal to 5 plus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 how we can interpret it a one unit increase in x1 results in a two unit increase in the y right because if x1 changes means 2 into x1, right? If x1 increases, the y will be increases by 2 times because it is multiplied by 2. And conversely, a 1 unit increase in x2, this is x2, results in the 3 units decrease in the y2. Why? x2 is having 3, minus 3, right? Here it is minus 3. We are having minus 3. So what happens means whenever x2 increases, it will 3 times decreases the y. That's it. Okay. Because this X or the X1, X2 or the dependent, like independent variable where Y is the dependent variable. Okay. Whenever this increases, X1 increases, it's plus two, right? Whenever X1 increases, there will be two into increase in the Y. Okay. Two into increase in the Y. Where whenever this uh, X2 increases, that is this minus three X2 increases, there will be minus three times decrease in the Y value. Okay. I hope like it's a very, very clear understanding for you guys. So hope you guys have understand. So this is a simple way of understanding the equation model of this uh, multiple linear regression and their interpretation. Okay. Yes, sir. Over to you. Yeah. So see guys, model equation and interpretation of that model equation. So this is where the black box thing happens. Okay. The magic happens. The, the magic happens in the math of the algorithm. Okay. So the equation, this is the actual equation, which we are revealing right now. So have full attention and uh, focus learning while learning this. So multiple linear regression equation is a mathematical formula. If you see mul multiple linear regression, it is actually the, it is algorithm, but it is a mathematical formula. Actually, if you see, okay under the neath okay and that uses coefficients to quantify the relationship between dependent and independent independent and dependent variables that's it that is the only objective function of this algorithm guys okay this model okay so the coefficient the coefficients represent the change in the dependent variable for the one unit change in the corresponding independent variable this is how it functions that is the objective function described so now what is the equation equation mathematically is y is equal to b naught plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 because why it is b1 x1 plus b2 uh, x2 is because it is a multiple if it is a linear regression then it will be only one variable it won't be multiple variables 
y here and multiple means multiple it can be n that is why you will see plus dot dot plus because multiple can be 3 4 5 6 7 whatever okay so then b n x n b n x n means n number of variables will be there in the equation y equal to b naught plus b1 b x1 plus b2 x2 plus dot 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 plus b n x n means n number of variables in the equation okay so let us inter interpret it interpretation is each coefficient that is b1 b2 dot dot b n okay these are the coefficients of the equation so b1 you have seen y equal to b naught plus b1 b x1 plus b2 x2 right or dot dot dot, dot bn xn right so here b is the they are the coefficient which represents the change in the dependent variable in the dependent variable y so there is a change the coefficient which represents the change in the dependent variable y okay for a one unit change in the corresponding independent variable x1 x2 dot 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 xn so what we understood in english now we are seeing mathematically how it functions okay that is the interpretation for the equation that how multiple regression actually functions in the black box which is not seen so we are understanding that is why understanding concepts and the math of it is very crucial guys and if you understand this you understand the magic of it that how magic happens okay so example can be y equal to 5 plus 2x1 minus 3x2 right so a unit a one unit increases in x1 results in the unit two unit increases in y conversely okay not directly conversely a, u, a one unit increases in x2 results in a three minus unit decreases in y that is what it is so when you see y equal to 5 plus 2x1 minus 3x2 this is how it increases then it decreases you can see that unit 2 increases in y then conversely it decreases in 3 minus minus 3x2 then decrease and increase so this is the actual uh, magic actual in the equation in the algorithm the model this is the model guys this is a very simple equation right but it does magic it can it can do millions of uh, calculations but for specific objective function it has its own objective function used for specific purposes as per the problem statement objective function and the data characteristics you have to choose this algorithm then and only it will give you result because see math of it it should match what you want in the model what because if you use wrong model then it will do wrong calculation for you that is why choosing right model is very very crucial cleaning data getting data from right source cleaning it ethically non-biased data pre-processing but then if you choose wrong model you will have wrong outcome because each model will have its own characteristics guys like we have seen we have dissected multiple linear regression here so you can see each each and everything even a minus sign plus and minus sign the operator increases and decreases right so uh, the results so there will be a lot of difference so you can just feel that each and every algorithm has unique objective function and uh, limitations also what it can do what it can't do 
so you as a data scientist AI, AI researcher or AI ML engineer you need to have a full consciousness about these things from mathematical level so right now we are understanding from mathematical level so guys absorb the information digest the information and apply the information do all the assignments and write in the comment section give us feedback how we can improve we want to improve each and every session if uh, it is uh, realistic it is legitimate otherwise we are simply explaining guys we are dissecting disseminating information like with deep simplicity very clear no fluff to the point and explaining each and every aspect of algorithm this is great guys so we are enjoying so these things are very 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 important so keep learning deeply let's move to the other section yeah sure sir yeah so guys the sim putting this simply okay we have learned about linear regression now we are learning multiple linear regression where we're gonna have a multiple coefficient rather than a single coefficient okay hope you guys have understanding okay so moving on let's see what we are having next okay yeah uh, feature selection and multi okay because like uh, this is the unique thing that we are having in this multiple linear regression. Let's, let's see what is this. Feature selection involves choosing the most relevant independent variable for the model. Multicollinearity occurs when the independent variables are highly correlated, which can affect the model accuracy and interpretation. Simply putting in simple way, uh, let's, let's see the definition that we are having below so that we can have a get better understanding. Feature selection, techniques such as forward selection, backward elimination and Stepwise regression can help identify most uh, significant feature for the model. Feature selection, putting in simple manner, in multiple linear regression, we will we'll be having multiple features, more than one features. So we need to select what are the features will be more important for the target variable in order to predict the outcome. So for doing that, we use the technique called as feature selection, which, which will tell or which will choose the proper features which has an impact on the target variable let us consider the hard disk prediction we are just talking about the same problem right if we are having thousand features to predict the hard disks then not those thousand features will be very important for the model to predict that will be only 10 to 20 features which are important so the way that we are reducing from thousand to 20 right that is called as feature selection there are multiple methods available like uh, forward selection backward elimination stepwise regression these are some of the methods yeah, moving on, we are having uh, multi -collinearity. So that means multi -collinearity. Okay, it can be addressed by removing highly correlated feature using techniques such as principal competent analysis, PCA, or utilizing specified regression techniques like ridge or loss regression. So, guys, it will it will create a, a like fitting problem. Okay, underfitting and overfitting problem it will create. So, multi If we having a single feature which has a high collinearity towards the target what happens means it will just it will just the model will just not learn or it will just reject the other features consider we are having thousand feature and we are reduced to 10 features and we are using for target variable if one feature is as a more more collinearity that is highly correlated with the target value then the model will not uh, gonna look into the another other nine features right so what happens means it starts to overfit okay or underfit Due to this single column so that's the reason you should try to avoid this multi collinearity problem okay so yeah that's that's all about the specific things that we are having in multiple linear regression guys so yes yeah, over to you yeah so feature selection and multi collinearity we have guys see if you understand the word collinearity the, uh, you will understand that it is it addresses removes highly correlated features so co correlated if there are correlated features it will remove okay that is not required so that is why uh, multi coordinate is very important feature selection so let's go step by step Feature selection involves choosing the most relevant independent variables for the model. That is the simple objective function for feature selection. 
so it it chooses the most relevant okay that is the keyword you need to remember most relevant independent variables for the model but multi coronality occurs when dependent independent variable are highly correlated so correlation it, the coronality comes from a word called correlate correlate when you correlate relate and correlate like vice versa you relate correlate right so coronality multi coronality comes from that so mul the multiple ways coronality correlation happens okay which affects the model's accuracy and interpretation right because it i'll say it might get confused because when there is multiple uh, correlations co uh, Correlate, highly correlated variable so it is going to get confused so it will not give you the right accuracy of the performance okay that is the basic fundamental um, uh, premise for multi colonality so then we have feature selection techniques such as forward selection backward elimination we use it step wise regression can help identify most significant feature for the model so these are the techniques which will help us for feature selection okay so that our we have better performance guys then multi coronality it can address the removal of highly correlated features using techniques such as principles component analysis pca that is used for multi coronality multi coronality is a negative aspect for the data guys so it is like lot of multiple correlations happening which is not necessary so pca helps us uh, to uh, remove that kind of thing okay and uh, then we utilize specialized regression techniques like ridged or lasso regression so again you see lasso is a like it will again it will remove the multi coronality because that will not give you the actual accuracy and performance of the model okay the output what you are desiring so this is very important to understand okay so feature selection again let me summarize it feature selection is when we select the right features okay select the most relevant features uh, in the independent variables for the model that is very simple okay multi coronality is there will be a lot of correlations in the data a lot of correlations in the model so we what we have to do is uh, that will occur okay while you will be um, working on it so so highly correlated and that will not give you accurate accuracy so that is why then we use for that pca or we use um, ridge or lasso regression to remove multi coronality that is very important one is we choose the right most uh, feature uh, selection for the relevant for the independent variables for the model but then there is another thing if there is a uh, lot of multiple correlations happening so we remove it with pca and or lasso and rich okay that is it Th this is what you have to you have to remember specific keywords and the relationship between them okay this is how uh, don't make it complex make it simple so that you absorb it properly so that you can digest properly and then apply uh, those concepts properly and you know you have awareness and consciousness that why you are using something uh, why you are not using something else so that consciousness is very important when you conceptually understand 100 percent guys okay that is in your hand coming um, uh, the outcome of the model uh, performance and accuracy that is on data there are multiple functions and multi multiple parameters the outcome come 
comes but at the first hand understanding each and every concept deeply 100% with super clarity that is in your hand that you do first then performance accuracy that has multiple variables and your experience and stuffs and learning and that has multiple parameters but here the first job of yours is understanding each and every concept with super clarity and super precision super clarity and 100% understanding that is very very important guys so that you can use all these concepts models algorithms and ideas in your model in your project very very clearly with consciousness thanks let's move to the other section yeah sure sir so as sir is mentioning we need to have a proper understanding so like we are just mentioning right everything is going to be black box so we are just revealing the black box of each and every algorithm and we will be going for the coding session okay that will be having a full full fledged understanding of this black box okay so we will stop here so we have introduced you to the multiple linear regression their uh, theoretical understanding the mathematical understanding we have seen something called as multicollinearity and then a feature selection we will just pass here and we will just continue in the next session um until uh, next session guys please make sure you understand everything if you guys have any doubt just ping in the comments we will take up and we will just um, solve your good doubts because like for that reason only we are here okay so yeah guys so if you guys have any doubts just ping us okay i'm just uh, saying again 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 we are here we are here to help you okay so yeah um, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this session we will all meet in the next session until next session thank you guys bye keep learning yeah bye guys yeah keep learning uh, do reinforcement learning 5 to 10 times learn all the previous sessions then come to this session and uh, write to us absorb the information digest to uh, information and apply to all the assignments and uh, subscribe to our channels also press the bell icon so that you will get notification have deeper and longer objective function for your career have persistency consistency and a uh, long term view for your career keep learning deeply and become lifelong learner let us meet in the other section thanks yeah guys